All right, tribe, that's it for today's study group. Break down the 30 community focused practice questions, but people want to know. I know community is sprinkled throughout a lot of these exams. Do you like this group? Not like this group? People, community, nah, 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 nah. You go to YouTube, you can find it somewhere else. You only all this honest feedback. Hey, Ray, I would say that what I appreciate, appreciate about this group is allowing us to be able to give our own reasoning to see if we understand versus just hearing you say it because hearing you say it, you know it. We think we know it. So I appreciate that part. Uh, absolutely. And I know uh, we did a bit of a mix up the last uh, week or two of just uh, me going through where some people was like, oh, Ray, you go through and stuff. But I think it's good. We could definitely do both sides of it and definitely glad you're benefiting from being able to not even just from us being able to hear ourselves but hearing other people as well because we can also say oh i see the the thought avenue they went down when looking at this question i did that too but um being able to really flush it out so definitely glad you're hearing getting value out of it okay i was just going to add my two cents um i think i really do like the in-depth rationales that you have for each answer. Um, I think that is super, super helpful. One thing I would say for feedback is that when we are having a rhythm or routine when we're reading the questions, so for us to be specific about what is the problem before we answer it, mm -hmm. you know, uh, who who is our client right now, right? Um, and, and again, what is it asking, right? Um, I think if we can get in the routine of tackling the question like that when we're doing it with you it can help stick to us a little bit better rather than us just reading it and then answering it mm -hmm. um that's just my feedback no i definitely appreciate that and i know people have their own uh methods where um i know like the the acronyms like fafari safari and uh, stuff like that uh those two acronyms and i always say this uh whatever method is working for you use it why because it's working for you don't let me or anyone mix up what's already if it ain't broke don't fix it type of thing for myself before all this social work this and all that aside what is this question asking me that's always true so i say i go to the very last sentence and that ends in a question mark because it's always true it's not like we're going to get a unless it's literally just one sentence long so i guess it would be the first and the last sentence but if it's at least two sentences long the last sentence is the one that ends in a question mark because that's the actual question. It's not going to end in a period or anything like that. And when we know what the question is actually asking us, at least for myself, it helps keep me in that right frame of mind of like, I need to pick the answer that is actually answering what this question is asking. And when we go through the full question now, picking the answer choice that speaks to that issue, that red flag being identified within the question. So I use that to help kind of structure my mind. So, um, I definitely encourage people to give it a try at the very least. But again, if you got a method that's working for you, forget everything I'm saying, do what works for you. But um, that's what I use to help cover, kind of keep me in the right frame of mind for it. Okay. Um, hi. Uh, um, hey. I want to say again <laughs> that you're an angel. You explain everything so good. It breaks down everything and it really helps you. And my feedback for this week is that I should have done this like way before. And by now, I would be a LCSW, so, but thank you, thank you so much. And I will see you next time. All right, definitely appreciate it. And um, remember to show ourselves grace. I always uh, emphasize that because it really is a different way of thinking. And I say in school now, um, if in school now, they're preparing us to take this licensure exam. But if within like the years of like five years ago, six years, like all of that internship papers, you know, so being able to show ourselves grace is all good, but definitely glad you're getting value out there. We're going to get that license. I just wanted to thank you. Just um, just let you know how much I truly appreciate you, um, and I really appreciate how you really try to get us to really think critical. That's the highlight for me. Just really trying to shift my way of thinking about how I approach the questions, and just the, the patience and just how you break things down. Um, I'm, I definitely feel confident. You know, I, I'm, I'm pretty much one that just really listen to how you break it down, and I'm serving 
and listening to the feedback. And um, I feel really confident. You know, I'm taking my test in November. So I'm going to continue to do the things that you have suggested about the two day, taking the test, and just really just looking at questions that I, I have gotten wrong. But the critical thinking piece for me is the really the highlight for me, because shifting my way of thinking about how to approach the test. So thank you very much. Absolutely. Definitely glad it's starting to, you know, kind of resonate with us and being able to just kind of like see it now. Because again, that grace piece where a different way of thinking like, hey, social worker, real quick, you're in this scenario. How should you respond? And it's kind of like, oh, this answer sounds good. But oh, this answer is worded kind of differently. Oh, I would have said it this way. And also, there's a good amount of times where we know how to respond to the situation. It really is identifying like, oh, wait a second. This answer choice is actually saying something. I thought it was saying something else or, oh, I didn't account for uh, this detail within a question. Ah, I see now. And showing ourselves grace so that two a day is definitely going to go a long way. Again, I don't care if we're spending 20, 30 minutes on those two practice questions and we're dissecting them. That's giving us that real quality practice. And it's that same thought process that's going to carry us into the next scenario based questions. Um, that we're doing in the following days as we repair. So I'm um, definitely glad you're getting value out of it. And again, remember to show yourself grace, everyone. You know, it's all good. Ray, are you able to hey, hear hey. me? Yep, yep. Hey, hey. Okay, it's Danielle again from Louisiana. I was in your Wednesday or Thursday group. Um, and this is my third group. And I do want to say that I've done several groups online, paid a lot of money. And I've never of being able to break down the questions as you have been able to show me and walk me through. And as I told you before, I pray God's multiple countless blessings upon your life for what you're doing for the social work community, especially us in the minority. So thank you for taking the time and being transparent um, with everything because, you know, most people that's in the groups, we don't know where they got pulled these questions from, how they did it, but you take your time and you show us, you know, it's not something that's just this is my first time ever understanding how the questions are even formulated. So I do want to thank you. The groups are very helpful. Um, I have been hesitant on scheduling to take my test, but the more that um, I listen to you, Ray Tubes every morning, every night. So um, joining the study groups is, you know, just adding some more. So I think with me building my confidence from continuing to listen to you and join the groups, um, it's going to help me. And I was referred to by a former member of the Ray Tribe, who's now LCSW. So, Nick. Nice, nice. Glad you're here. Hey, where are person going? Hey, listen, I got a place for it. Y'all ain't going nowhere. I'm going to teach y'all to start a proper practice. I'm going to show you how to get to the bag and business owners in here. Listen, y'all ain't going nowhere. And um, I definitely appreciate that where I feel like I've already been blessed. Uh, where I got a tribe. Like, we, it's our tribe, you know? So, and... This is just how I look at things where it's like, talk to me like I'm four, break it down, make it simple, help me understand with any and everything. Like, it doesn't matter. We talk about if someone is learning how to drive, if someone's learning how to um, put something together, if someone's learning how to dissect these questions, whatever it is, talk to me like I'm four and help me see what I need to see that I may not be looking at uh, something in the, in the proper way. And that grace component of, it is a different way of thinking, you know? And I and I just wanna make sure that we're not getting like down on ourselves. And I understand where it's like, dang, like this exam, I wanna continue on my social work journey and everything. So I'm gonna definitely continue to pour into our tribe so we can pass. So definitely glad you're here and getting value out of it. And I'm gonna keep doing my part and we are gonna pass, we got this. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, tribe, thank you all for attending. I appreciate you. This was the community focused practice question group breakdown. And again, two practice questions a day and one practice day a month. We got this. All right, tribe, I'll see you next study group.